Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me today for an episode of Slab and Gab. Here on the channel, we're going to get into three really awesome hockey slabs that I picked up recently. Um, they all feature the greatest player, in my opinion, ever to lace up skates, number 99, Wayne Gretzky. A little bit of a backdrop here with his 83 Opeachy uh, shared card with Marc Messier. Uh, that is not one of the three cards for today. We've looked at that one in the past, uh, but wanted you to have something to look at during my intro here. Uh, just so happens that these three cards uh, represent three different grading companies as well. I didn't do that on purpose, but uh, these are probably the three most recent graded Wayne Gretzky cards that I've picked up and uh, just kind of worked out that way. I am always on the hunt for cards of the great one. Um, I think he's the best player ever to lace up skates and uh, certainly want to have him well represented in my hockey collection. And he's on a ton of cards out there. So let's get to the latest three. Uh, this is an Opeachy card from the 80s here. We'll do the PSA graded card first. The 1986-87 Opeachy Scoring Leaders card, card number 260, and a PSA Fine 9. Uh, this was definitely inspired by my buddy Peeps here on YouTube. Uh, definitely head over and check out his video, or, or I'll try to leave a link below if I think of it, uh, to the video where he previewed this card. Um, but just an awesome, awesome card. Um, Gretzky was on tons of leader cards throughout the 1980s. Um, basically, Tops and Opeachy would have all kinds of team leaders, league leaders, highlight cards. And Gretzky was, you know, leading the league in just about everything, um, just about every year. So he just ended up on, you know, dozens and dozens of cards every year um, throughout the 1980s. But out of all of those, um, this may be the most significant one or certainly up there. Uh, with any of the rest of them, because it represents his uh, 215 point season. We can see on the back here, uh, he finished 85-86 with 215 points. Next closest player, Mario Lemieux at 141, which is also, you know, insane. And then the next two guys on the list, Coffee and Curry, probably benefited from playing with Gretzky. Um, so that is still the record to this day. And it's a record that I don't think we will ever see broken without, like, you know, barring major rule changes to the NHL or something along those lines. Um, you know, to give you an example, 215 is still the record. Um, Gretzky, I think, still actually has the best four single seasons from a point perspective. And then after that, Lemieux, I think, has the fifth best. But, you know, nobody named, you know, not named Gretzky or Lemieux has even bested 160. Uh, Lemieux is the only person, and he did it a, a few times, to even hit the 160 mark. Um, I think Steve Iserman had 155 or mid-150s. But as far as active players, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think that the active record for anyone that's in the league now is Nikita Kucherov, uh, who scored 128 points um, a few seasons back. So, I mean, almost, you know, only a little over half uh, what it what it would take to catch Gretzky. So I consider that uh, those 215 points to be basically an untouchable record. And I think for that reason, that scoring leaders card is really, really cool. Um, had my eye on that one for a while, just because I'm trying to complete the entire 1980s run of Gretzky cards, all, all graded. But I will say that it definitely bumped up the list uh, when I gained a little bit more appreciation for it after seeing Peeps uh, show off his copy. So found that on four sharp corners. Uh, surfaced a while back and was happy to snatch that one up. Uh, next up, we got a shiny card from the 90s. This represents arguably my favorite parallel of the entire decade of the 90s, and that is Rink Collection from Pinnacle. Uh, those of you that collect baseball will know these uh, or this effect as Museum Collection, which they did in their Pinnacle baseball sets as well, beginning in 1994. Uh, on the hockey side of the house, they call it Rink Collection, but it's the same Dufex effect. And uh, recently got Wayne Gretzky from the 1995 Pinnacle release. The Rink Collection parallel, you can see the, the Dufex foil kind of radiating out from the Pinnacle symbol, which is you know, not the case for average cards in this set. Uh, the whole entire front of the card is done up in Dufex. Love the shot here of Wayne Gretzky, you know, post slap shot. Not sure if he scored here or not, but that's just a perfect image of him ripping a shot at net. Um, I think it's framed beautifully. 
Um, does feature the St. Louis Blues here just in the corner, the team that he would actually go on to join shortly after this came out. Um, but just a great photograph, um, a parallel that I'm a big fan of. And it was an opportunity for me to check out the new CSG slab uh, a little bit late to the party here. Um, I did have a few CSG slabs from their original uh, green flip days, but this is the first one that I've been able to take a look at uh, with their revised or, uh, you know, black and white flip here, which, you know, looks pretty nice. I have to say this card graded a 9.5, so this is, you know, pretty much gem mint. I, I don't really understand the difference even after all these years back in the hobby between a, a 9 or a 9.5 or a 10 all the time. So let's just say it's a beautiful Wayne Gretzky. And I do like that, you know, the LA Kings gear here, you know, kind of matches the black and white of the CSG flip. Um, pretty cool. I got this for 25 bucks. Um, I don't know what their submission fees are. I think they're quite a bit cheaper than uh, PSA, but I mean, I, I don't think $25 would be a bad price for that card raw, maybe on the high end for a raw copy, but um, certainly for a graded copy, that's you know, beyond reasonable and uh, really excited to add that one. I do have the 1994 Rink Collection Gretzky, just raw, ungraded, that came the year before that. Uh, but I had never owned the 95 until now, so pretty happy to get that one. And then uh, lastly for today, let me get this one out of its wrapping here. I have a SGC slab as well. Um, this is a base card from the 80s, just because I have been working my way uh, through the, the late 70s through the 80s, uh, as far as his tops and Opeachy issues go, um, and uh, showed actually his second year Opeachy recently. But uh, in this case, I have the third year Opeachy card from the 81 82 Opeachy set, card number 106. The great one, got a, a really nice copy here. This is a very sneaky, tough card. Um, the tops version is not quite as, as rough, but um, getting this in a high grade in the Opeachy counterpart is pretty brutal. Um, this one is centered better than most. It is not perfect. Um, I think this is probably 55-45 centering or something like that. It's just slightly off left to right, but it is good enough to meet my, you know, general eye appeal test of uh, well-centeredness. And that's very rare. Almost, you know, the, the majority of the examples that you'll see of this card are drastically OC left to right, um, enough that it kind of drives me nuts. And it's prevented me from buying it for years. Um, higher grade PSA copies go for many hundreds of dollars. I uh, was able to get this one, which I'm really happy with. Plugs the hole in my Gretzky run here uh, with his third year Opeachy, so pretty significant card solid grade of a 7.5 and just you know as far as overall visual appeal goes I'd, I'd give this card like a 9.5 it just looks gorgeous the corners are sharp uh it doesn't even really have any of that like opeachy rough cut of the paper which i wouldn't mind if it did i actually kind of like that um, but a great card here i always like this image of uh, wayne settling in for the face off with his patented titan wooden stick there um, very very cool i've owned the tops version of this for years. Um, actually, since I was a little kid, I even still have my original tops version of this, but um, this is the first time now uh, as a 40-year-old collector that I've been able to say that I, I have the Opeachy counterpart to go with it. So really, really excited to pick that one up. Uh, that's maybe even my favorite of the three cards in today's video, although I certainly love all three of them. And uh, there's no bad time to add Wayne Gretzky cards uh, to your hockey card collection. Just you cannot go wrong uh, with the man and uh, very happy with this trio. So thanks for stopping by to check these out. Definitely appreciate you spending a few minutes of your valuable time here talking hockey cards or listening to me talk hockey cards. And I will certainly be back in the very near future with some more sports card content. Until then, take care and enjoy the hobby.